Did you see the new research on SSRIs increasing the risk of dementia? No, no. Brand new. That just came out. And benzos, when I started looking at scans in 1991, I was trained to use benzos like Valium and Xanax and Ativan. And they make your brain look older than you are. And I stopped prescribing them. And then it just came out maybe 10 years ago, benzo use is associated with an increased risk of dementia. We have to be careful. Is this good for your brain or bad for it? Just to pick up on the new point about SSRIs, Daniel, a meta-analysis of five studies found that SSRIs was associated with a 75% increased risk of dementia, which is pretty staggering. Given that 25% of the adult American population is on psychiatric drugs, it's horrifying. And SSRIs for the right people save lives. For the wrong people, they're not good. But can you imagine all of these 340 million prescriptions last year for antidepressants, virtually no one looked at their brain ahead of time. And it's like, come on, we can do better. There's a Swedish study with um, almost 20,000 patients, and they found that those with higher doses of SSRIs were linked to faster cognitive decline and more severe dementia, especially in men. The greatest risk was in men. Going back to, to this, this um, report from MIT, Terry, you know, it's not peer-reviewed yet, and there's still, you know, the sample size is relatively small. But based on everything that you know about how the brain works and neural networks and memory formation, what are your concerns as it relates to this whole generation of young people and older people flooding into these tools, using them on a daily basis um, before we understand the long-term consequences? 